converting it to pesos a month, I would earn about six digits. Wow. Yeah. My most difficult challenge is when my client always rejecting me. So once again guys, before we begin, just a very quick introduction to this video. Today we're going to be asking Filipino people whether they love their jobs or not. We're also going to be asking a range rate of their salaries and I guess the behind the scenes stuff that we don't really know about their job. With that being said, here's the video. Hello, so here we have... Joseph. Hey Joseph, are you currently working here in the Philippines? Yes, I am. Perfect. If you don't mind me asking, What's it like working here in the Philippines? In my personal experience, it's quite difficult looking for, you know, a job that will sustain you mm -hmm. and in the long run kind of, uh, you know, reach the, well, my personal goal is right. to save up for the house and mm -hmm. eventually for, uh, for marriage. And I think here in the Philippines, working on an entry level job, it takes a lot of, uh, a lot of years before mm -hmm. reaching that that rule yeah so uh, in terms of salary salary wise it's not as much as uh, working abroad I, I mean right. I personally have worked abroad in the US yeah. and working there you tend to earn more compared right. to okay. here in the Philippines yeah. so with that being said what did you work on as in the US um, well back in college I stu I studied hotel management mm -hmm. so I worked as a uh, an entry-level job it was a as a waiter in, uh, in a hotel called the Ritz Carlton in Half right. Moon Bay oh the one in New York right no no in San Francisco, oh, San Francisco, San Francisco. my bad yeah I mean yeah even as an entry-level job the the pay there I want to say converting it to pesos a month I would earn about six digits Wow yeah and that's an entry-level job in the States yeah Dang. So if you don't mind me asking, what kind of work are you in right now in the Philippines? Right now I'm still working in a hotel, um, but as a, uh, as a front desk right. in the hotel. Yeah. So it um, doesn't pay as much as compared to the US, mm -hmm. but comparing it to other entry-level jobs here in the Philippines, I feel that it pays a lot more. Right. Now with that being said, are you happy in your current job? Yeah, no, for sure. Mm -hmm. Apart from the salary, the people I work with, they're very supportive mm -hmm. and um, I love the people there. Right, yeah. yeah. I get along with them. Do you have a horror story working in the front desk of a hotel? Uh, horror story? Ha I don't have anything specific in mind at the moment, but it's inevitable having yeah. a lot, some guests who are de uh, demanding, even borderline assholes. But, yeah. you know, it's part of the job. Yeah. Um, it is what, what it is at this it point. It is what it know? is. It's yeah. what I signed up for. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I mean, the people I work with, uh, how much I'm earning right now, I think it pays off. So I guess one of the final questions I want to ask you, being where you are now, is a college degree worth it? Yeah, no, definitely. I myself, I started, I studied in Enderin, so the the school really pro provided a lot of opportunities for me right. to, like I said, working abroad, meeting people that would have the connections I would need in terms of my in terms of my current job. Right. So, yeah. Now, if you don't mind me asking, what's an estimate of how much you earn here in the Philippines? Right now, a month, I. I would say between 50 to 70 mm -hmm. a month. Yeah. Place, uh, place between those numbers. Right, yeah. And with that being said, is there one anything you want to tell the audience out there? If you're just getting off college, definitely contemplate on working abroad mm -hmm. prior to working here in the Philippines, just so you have a grasp you know, of the difference of the, of the culture and um, you know, how people work. So I think that's my, that's my advice. Mm -hmm. If you have the opportunity, go for it. Do it, guys. Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> With that being said, thank you so much, right, Joseph. Thanks, it's been Marco. a pleasure. Nice Hello, everyone. So here we have... Hi, guys. My name is Jordan. I'm from Taguig, and I'm a property specialist of Alveo Ayala Land. So hey, Jordan. What's it like working as a property specialist for Alveo Land? My work helps me to build more my career, mm -hmm. and it helps me to support my family also. Right. So I guess one thing I want to ask you now is, do you like your job? Most likely, I like my job because it helps me a lot and it helps my future also. Mm -hmm. So if you don't mind me asking also, how did you get this job in the first place? Uh, in the first place, I'm a content creator, I'm a photographer. Oh. Then when I saw a, three girls, I asked them for a stranger shoot. Mm -hmm. So I asked them for a photo shoot, then three of, their, three of them is a manager. Mm -hmm. So I asked them to be a molder for my content in my FB page. Right. And this led me to my work right now. Yeah. 
So being a property specialist mm -hmm. gave me a stepping stone that even I'm a photographer, I can excel more yeah. about the about the real estate. Mm -hmm. yes, so one thing I want to ask you, what's the reality of being a real estate agent here? Is it difficult? As a beginner, yes, it's difficult. But mm -hmm. if you work hard and have a trust with God, you can see that you're getting on step by step that God will lead you to the process. Mm -hmm. I guess what's been the most difficult challenge for you in taking this job? My most difficult challenge is when my client always rejecting me, but I always trust the God that on the right time, He will give the best client for me. Mm -hmm. With that being said, if you don't mind me asking, what's an estimate of your salary here? For estimated salary, mm -hmm. it's just a normal, normal rate, mm -hmm. just like an employee. Right, yeah. Yes. So just so we can be a bit more specific, is that five digits or six digits? thousand mm -hmm. yes, right okay well with that being said do you want to plug in your social medias and your photography account uh, my every page for photography is Jordan Imahe so I'm a content creator here in Taguig I also do a stranger shoot on TikTok yeah be sure to check it out and then with that being said thank you so much Jordan it's been a pleasure also if you want properties buy from this guy <laughs> <laughs>